welcome to episode two on the Iron Man. For the start of this video, we are actually just going to do our daily challenges. So we got agility, thieving, and hunter. So we're going to get those done so we can redeem that. Uh, we do have a butterfly event, which are really, really good for hunter XP. And of course, you get the wieldy bag thing with the alcables in it so they help a lot i can't remember the exact name of what they're called i just call them sacks so we'll end up doing that and we will also be working towards getting 59 magic i believe it was for the requirement for the lumbridge task because last episode we did get 57 rune crafting and all we need is 59 magic and then we'll be able to go through and complete all of the hard task achievements so let's get to it i actually can't remember how many traps you can set up i think it might be three yeah so i need level 60 hunter to set four thank you and oh look at that thank you back to back ready another one thank you easy hunter complete what was our next one we had to do Thieving. I'll just go to Lumbridge for that and just pickpocket up. These guys. Okay, there we go. For some reason I thought they were around this area. So, how many did we do? We did it six times. Oof. Why you do this to me? Bro, actually. I mean, did this character get left behind in the graphical update? Huh? Oh my gosh. I've never noticed that before. That's like. 2008 graphical up upgrade thieving done and agility i should have actually done that while i was at berthold let's go back to berthold and we'll just do the agility laps there then we'll go get ready for our wilderness event i will then go do my daily divination caches do those two a day as part of the uh, daily checklist the one thing i should check is to see if we can get the jack of trades aura on this account I think I have, I have about 63k loyalty points still because I never took membership off of this account. That is the first lap complete. The other thing that I really need to start paying attention to and doing more often is the Vizwax because we are running low on Vizwax because they will be handy especially for the quick teleports but mainly the, the uh, extension on the daily tasks. Okay, that is done let's claim our xp see if we get any levels we did what do we go to we got to 57 uh thieving nice and let's get our oddments perfect oh actually you know what i should have done actually yeah let's go do that i'm gonna go bank again get my divination outfit do this wilderness event and then straight away we can teleport to uh Falador. And now we just sit here and wait for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, hello bro, you gonna catch it or not? I've been trying to catch that butterfly for like a minute. Oh my gosh. Pretty butterfly. Yoink. That is that event complete. So I'm gonna quickly head over to Falador and we're gonna go into the divination cache. Cash, cache, however you wanna say it. I normally say cash. And we're going to do this daily. Literally, I haven't trained d divination once at any of these. All I've done is these ca uh, caches and we're up to level 78. So that's pretty uh, impressive. Oh, look at that. And we just got, uh, got a hunter level from that too. Very nice from the wilderness event. That's why I love doing these wilderness events. Let's enter in here so we don't run out of time. I am considering for the for one of the account goals is to get the double surge ability codex because having one surge really really sucks in a place like this because I've got the one I've got to wait for it to come off of cooldown before I can do it again so I've got to stand here but sometimes I'll try and test my luck to see if I can get it in here but most of the time these guys just knock it straight out of my hand so either we start working towards the Surge Codex or the uh, dive ability, I think is going to be is going to be a play here. Normally, I would just sit here and spam these as soon as they come off cooldown, so I can go into the uh, crest and just get my points that way. Um, well, that was kind of awkward. 
I didn't manage to get my 100 points. I only got my 79 points that round. I think it's probably because it took a little bit too long at the uh, wilderness event, but we still did gain XP. So we'll take it and I'll just can I'll just catch the next one. And also real quick, let's open up this sack of wild rewards. That's what they're called. I just call them a sack. And we got, uh, <laughs> I mean, the bones aren't too bad. That will come, come in handy later on down the line. I don't think I really need these anymore. I don't even know what it does. Oh, okay. Well, we're about to find out. Ah, okay. So it takes us to the wilderness. I don't really need that. And I can't teleport. No, I'm about to die. Oh, can we teleport? Teleport me, please, please, please. <laughs> We are going to also do a quick farm run. We're going to check our animals. So we did... Oh, yeah. Okay, so they did have babies. Yay! Okay, because I did um, upgrade this so that the animals could breed in the small pens. So that is actually super, super cool. Let's go over here. I don't think I put anything. No. Okay. So hopefully our cows have had some babies. And yes, they have. So let's remove those and we'll go put them over into this yard here like that. We'll quickly go check our beehives to be completely honest. From what I can remember, the only way that I have achieved up until 73 levels in farming is just by doing these beehives it if i'm remembering correctly that's the only way i've done it. i've hardly focused on any of my player owned animals so that's definitely something i really need to start getting into the swing of and getting some different animals and uh, getting the beams and all of that stuff for the unlocks but yeah like i said i'm pretty sure most of these levels if not pretty much all of these levels have just been just come from the uh the beehives over there we are also going to be taking a little bit of a detour instead of going up to 59 magic i know i'm only one level away what i want to do is i'm going to get up to 50 defense so then i'll be able to equip the mystic armor that i have in my bank because currently i've just been using the the spider silk robes that's the armor i've been using for quite some time now so and that's tier 20 and the mystic is tier 50 so it should be a relatively decent upgrade for a little while so i think that's the plan we're going to do we're going to go get 50 defense so we can wear our mystic armor and then we will get the extra level in magic to 59 we'll get magic to 59 and then we will finish off the hard lumbridge achievements Ever since the changes come to necromancy with the way you earn XP from killing monsters, because it's been so long since I've had to level up past 99 on the main account and all I've done is bossing to, to go above the 99, I'm over in Kurumja on the Mosh Giant Island. I think we're just going to stay here and get 50 defense. I am wearing the brawler gloves. I have 247 charges. You get that from the wilderness events also. We just focus on getting to 50 defense so we can wear that uh, mystic armor. I looked at the in-game clock and realized that Claudia is going to spawn in about six minutes. So I thought I'd quickly come and rebank, get some more food and just sit here and chill in the, uh, the meme hole. While we wait for Claud Claudia to spawn. Uh, we'll just see how many kills we got. I am trying to go for the pet. So we got 9 kills. Oh, we did 8, 10 ice creams. I forgot about that. We did unlock that title a little while ago. So we're just going to sit here. We're going to chill in the hole for a bit until Claudia spawns. I will have to swap over to a bit more populated world. It is 1am 1, 1 in the morning, my time. <laughs> so not too many people are on in this world. So we will hop over to a bit more uh, populated world. Um, yeah, so awkward moment again. I wasn't recording <laughs> when we were killing Claudia. But what I can tell you that there was that many people, my PC lagged the hell out. <laughs> we didn't get the pet. So back to uh, getting 50 defense. Let's go 50 defense. Now I'll be able to use the mystic armor. I have a noticeably big difference 
and just having a higher defense will also definitely help when I'm fighting monsters because I often felt like having a low defense was uh, becoming quite painful as I'd run into mobs and I'd <laughs> feel like I almost get one shot and actually perfect timing too because the divination cache is just open I'm going to quickly go to the bank put my divination outfit on and do my daily and that is 79 divination since getting 50 defense and upgrading to the full mystic and even equipping the mystic one and orb uh my damage is so so much better now and i'm not taking anywhere near as much damage from the zombies uh at the um back of the fort for entry here it's crazy how much of a difference it's made and i'm actually glad that i chose to uh get to level 50 <laughs> defense and we just got 59 magic that actually went by so quick and according to my uh tracker you get close to 100k an hour by killing these zombies we are going to complete the hard lumbridged area task so the first thing we have to do is create a mithril full body plate so let's do that real quick and that is that achievement done we can tick that off of the wiki okay so for this second achievement what we have to do is create a amulet of strength from scratch so we need to smelt the gold ore into a bar we do that we then use a uncut ruby and cut it craft the gold bar into can i do i need to just use that on an anvil or something or smith maybe no okay then we need to create a amulet ruby amulet so i'll drop that wall because that was from the bank so we shear a sheep no take up bro and we go back to lumbridge castle and then we spin the wall on the spinner we attach that to create the amulet then we use level three enchant and did that work yes it did yay okay i wasn't sure if it's gonna work because i used some items from the bank okay really glad easy another one done five more to go okay so for this one we have to make a cake in the lumbridge kitchen so we need to mix the egg the milk and the flour into the cake tin uncooked cake and we cook it on the range that just says cake though so cook the cake and then add the chocolate bar to the cake and another achievement done i actually had no idea that's how you create chocolate cakes it was by adding the chocolate chocolate bar to the cake okay that's good to know okay so for the fourth achievement this one should be really easy all we have to do is cast fire blast at the training dummy in lumbridge actually let me put that in there and that can go into crafting gold bar can stay there yes and that's why we needed to get 59 magic was to cast this spell so we need three air runes and three fire runes let's grab 10 and we go and cast it on this dummy oops i need okay i need weapons and that was a very simple easy achievement three more to go so for this fifth achievement we need to pray so we turn on mystic might and then pray at the altar beautiful gods give me strength another achievement done two more to go so for this one it should be really easy we need to craft at least 100 water runes at once without needing a explorer's ring pouch or familiar so i'm going to see what this inventory gives if that will give us to 100 okay nice easy 108 okay we got one more achievement to do which is burn a log on top of lumbridge castle okay so i'm pretty sure all we have to do is burn the log up here like what we did with the willow log so let's see if this works and this will be our last achievement yeah let's go morgs has just completed the lumbridge set task let's go okay that is all done there that's huge 
So now we got to go to Ned and then we can get the Explorer's Ring 4 Magic Lamp with 9,000 XP of any skill choice. Okay, I'm going to put that straight into Herb Law. Okay, so we just talked to Ned. We got our XP Lamp that's going to go straight into Herb Law. See if that gives us a level. Oh, I did it. Damn. It always feels so satisfying when you, you know, you complete achievements in this game, especially like the area tasks, because a lot of them give rewards that are super helpful. So I'm really glad that we did that. And I can't wait to start knocking out some of the uh, other area tasks as well. I think for the next episode, we might start working on some quests and some more achievements. Also, we'll just get some levels as well by doing our, our dailies and um all of those sorts of things the other thing oh my gosh what is that bird doing it just flew straight part like straight through me oh my god <laughs> okay bird <laughs> no chill <laughs> so the next episode i think it'll be really good to unlock the underworld achievements we can just do the easy and medium because this here this grimoire uh, will really help with do uh, with getting ashes without having to pick up ashes. It will just automatically teleport to my bank. So when when it comes time to do necromancy stuff, we'll have ashes in the bank, which will be uh, really really handy for account progression somewhere along the line. I've come up with another idea: is to complete all of the uh, the free to play quests, just because I remember doing that way back in the day, and it'll just be really good to experience that all again. So for the next episode, we're going to be doing quests, some area tasks, and just get some more general levels. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I really appreciate the support on the last video. These guys are the best. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Your child to not do something they shouldn't do 50 times in a row, yet they still continue to do it. That's what these little guys, <laughs> that's how they make me feel. <laughs>